Hello everyone, this is Werner and I'm back with a beginner's tutorial this time just to show you how to create your own custom age attribute on static points. Sometimes you generate points and it might be a varying point count um, and you want your own age attribute but you're not you're creating these points with a pop net or any form of uh, simulation so you don't have that age that you can use to drive color or, or any other effect on it. So this will quickly show you how, how to do that. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm just using that to drive color. And yeah, looks a little bit like a little bit of a shockwave, but let's see how I did that. So let's start off. Let's look at this. It's a plain grid. Then we scatter some points on there. Now I needed a varying point count just to prove my point, but I created a group using the bounding sphere that I just scaled up, keyframed it, scaled up, and then used the blast node to blast out everything not in the group. So now I have uh, 146 points growing all the way up to 33,000 points. Okay, so next step is to create your attribute on these points and if we look at the geometry spreadsheet you can see now I have that age attribute on them and then we need to use a solver to achieve this because we need to use a the, the time step to figure out if uh, when a point comes into existence so let's jump into the solver let's just scale that up a little bit here and what we're going to do is we're going to really just use the attribute transfer to transfer our time step over to our first input. So how we do that is we grab the previous frame, then we create an attribute wrangle. Uh, this could be a point wrangle, same thing. You, it's just set a run over point there. And this is really all we're doing. We're saying at h plus equals the time step which is at time inc a global variable in the dini all right so we're just adding to it whenever a point gets born it will just add that time step and that gets written to that attribute and if you look at there you'll see it's the age attribute i've uh, got a very small distance threshold there just to transfer it since these points don't move at all uh, they could but it doesn't really matter um, and now, if we look at the geometry spreadsheet, we just reset our solver. If we do this, you can see that our age attribute starts to grow over time. And that is the basics of it. Quite straightforward. Oops. So now we can start to use color ramps and use the source attribute. There we type in the age and now we will have that ramp, color ramp, changing over time. All right, so I just added a bit of noise there with a uh, with another color attribute or a color adjust. And this time I'm just using, using a hard mix with a bit of noise there. And I'm blasting out um, everything with no color. So that's happening there. And lastly, I just used the, the attribute again get some nice color on there and that is all it is very handy and I hope this helps somebody you wanted to create your own custom age attribute this is a good way to do it thank you so much and I hope it helps if you have any questions just pop me a message down below thank you bye